salad queen Renit from Balabusta is joining me today to make another beautiful salad. This salad, you know it's going to be good for you. I mean, look at these colours. Definitely a rainbow salad? Definitely a rainbow <laughs> salad. And you're serving this with parmesan, but there's no parmesan here. We're going to make a vegan parmesan today, mm. Jazz. It's really delicious. It's actually addictive. You can make it in a big jar and keep it in the fridge and use it on all sorts of things, not just this salad. Vegan parmesan sounds very interesting. I've never tried it, so I'm intrigued. I'm pretty sure I'll convert you. I'll get started on the vegan parmesan, <laughs> yep. and if you could get started chopping the kale and the daikon, that sure. would be great. So this is just leaves of kale that we've taken the woody stalks out because they're not palatable. Um, and do you want me to chop them just the same size as the cabbage and beetroot? That would be perfect, right. thanks. So the vegan parmesan is made up of three ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's got raw cashews, and all goes in a food processor, some nutritional yeast, and then it's just a tiny bit of garlic salt mm -hmm. or garlic powder. Right. Cheating. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and the cashews give it a really nice creaminess. So we've just blitzed that. Gosh, it really does look similar to parmesan, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And wait till you taste it. What's also great about it when you're putting it on a salad is because it's got the nuts and the fat content, it actually keeps you fuller. I'm going to make the salad dressing in a jar. Okay. Really, really great salad dressing to mm -hmm. make big batches of and leave on your kitchen bench mm -hmm. and just use over anything. We're going to start with some beautiful olive oil and some salt. Okay, then we're going to add apple cider vinegar, some white balsamic vinegar, tiny bit of maple syrup to balance out those tangy flavours, and then some Dijon mustard just to finish it off, which also provides a creaminess to the dressing that goes really well with the parmesan. Great, so let's, before we add the other ingredients, let's just add a little bit of dressing and a little bit of parmesan to the kale and give it a bit of a massage to get okay. the flavours going and then we'll add the other ingredients. This is a nice idea. So this vegan style parmesan, it's not going to give, well, because it's kind of crunchy at the moment, but it won't be crunchy at the end, will it? It's almost like a Caesar dressing. It is, really similar to a Caesar dressing. So it makes it more creamy yeah. rather than crunchy. Oh, this is great. Get your hands stuck in there, you'll see how the texture sort of changes. And you can see when the leaves change colour, yeah. when they go to that vibrant green, that's it softening them. That dressing smells so good too. Love it. Really good one. All right. What's next? That's looking good. If you get started on the daikon, just sure finally can. julienne that and I'll start adding in the other rainbow elements. We've got some beautiful grated carrot, mm -hmm. some beetroot. Do you know, Jazz, a really good tip for beetroot if you're using it in salads is mm -hmm. if you put it in a strainer and run it under cold water, mm -hmm. a lot of the colour comes out and then it doesn't stain your salad. And then we've also got some normal cabbage. And once the daikon's done... Daikon. I would actually present at the table like this, all the different flavours, you just toss it at the it's end. It's a beautiful <laughs> way to present things and it's actually really good if you have fussy eaters in the house because yep. everybody gets to take what they want. Love it. Now, Annette, you've got a cooking school and you do lots of delicious salads. What else do you teach all your students? We basically teach them how to use really good ingredients and to make easy, simple dishes that nourish them and their families. Yeah. I think that's what everyday people want. They want to do those beautiful, simple salads but give it a little touch of something, a little je ne sais quoi, I guess we say in French, like the Parmesan cheese. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've also got another little great je ne sais quoi for this salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After we mix that, Something that's really nice in salads is having a textural element. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit of that in the parmesan, mm -hmm. but this is crunchy roasted corn. You can Ooh. get this at health food stores or at specialty nut shops. It's really, really delicious. Ooh. And it just gives that burst of crunchiness when you're eating a salad. Look at that salad. You can see here how a beetroot hasn't bled into the other ingredients. I love that trick that you gave beforehand. And the crunchy corn, this is also great in tacos, it's great with yeah. barbecue, it's great with shredded chicken. So that's it, another really simple salad. It's just so beautiful, very appealing to the eye. Hopefully appealing to the taste buds too. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Mm. Hear the corn crunch. <laughs> wow, you know what this is? It's a juicy salad. It's one of those salads that you can't stop at one mouthful. Have to have another one. You know what? I don't want anything else with it. I just want the salad as is. And what do you think of the parmesan? Love it. Oh. Would you believe it? I said I love fake parmesan. <gasps> What's it's not happening fake, to me? It's vegan. <laughs> no, that's right. It's vegan. Get with the trend. <laughs> oh gosh, I really do need to become more trendy. <laughs>